the United Nations has called for a united global forum to pressurize the military dictatorship in Myanmar. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged the Myanmar authorities to undertake a serious democratic transition. It is absolutely unacceptable to see violence against people at such high levels, so many people killed, Antonio Guterres said while briefing the media. We need more unity and more commitment from the international community to put pressure in order to make sure that the situation is reversed, he said. More than 500 people have been killed in the Myanmar military's brutal crackdown on anti-coup protesters, a local monitoring group said. The UN Security Council is meeting today to discuss the situation after Britain called for emergency talks. The United States, Britain and the European Union have all imposed sanctions in response to the coup and crackdown, but so far diplomatic pressure has not persuaded the generals to ease off. Meanwhile, the United States Department has ordered the departure of non-essential diplomats from Myanmar amid crackdown on protesters that has killed hundreds since the country's military coup began. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, while in Assam campaigning for the Grand Old Party for the third phase of the Assam Assembly elections, addressed a massive campaign rally in Nalbari. Rahul Gandhi said that the Congress party is committed to protect the cultural heritage and identity of Assam. Unlike the BJP who spread lies, we the Congress party are committed to protest the culture and identity of Assam, said Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. While addressing an election rally at Chai Gaon in Assam's Kamrup district, he also slammed the BJP-led Assam government for ordering the police to fire upon unarmed civilians who were out on the streets to protest against the CAA in December of 2019. As many as five persons were shot dead by the police during the anti-CAA protests in Assam. Rahul Gandhi said that killing youth of the state during the anti-CAA protests a few years back was an attempt by the BJP government to murder Assam. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee has written to non-BJP parties to unite against the BJP's attack on democracy and the constitution of India. She suggested the parties to come together and chart out a plan of action against the BJP's one-party authoritarian rule in India. While highlighting the assaults by the BJP and its government on democracy and constitutional federalism of India, the TMC Supremo wrote letters to the opposition leaders including Congress Chairperson Sonia Gandhi, NCP's Sharad Pawar, DMK's MK Stalin, RJD's Tejasvi Yadav, Shiv Sena's Udav Thakre, AAP's Arvind Kejriwal, BJD's Navin Patnaik, among others. Referring to the passage of the National Capital Territory of Delhi Amendment Bill by the two Houses of Parliament, she said that it is an extremely grave development. Alleging that the Saffron Party wants to make it impossible for the non-BJP parties to exercise their constitutional rights and freedom, she stated, it wants to dilute the powers of state governments and want to downgrade them to mere municipalities. In short, it wants to establish a one-party authoritarian rule in India, Mamata Banerjee said. Russia has registered the world's first vaccine for animals against COVID-19, its agricultural regulator said today, after tests showed it generated antibodies against the virus in dogs, cats, foxes and mink. Mass production of the vaccine called Carnivac Cov can start in April, regulator Rosen Kosnados said. The World Health Organization has expressed concern over the transmission of the virus between humans and animals. The regulator said the vaccine would be able to protect vulnerable species and thwart viral mutations.